Welcome to my video about my mechanical calculator. As you can see, mine has a uh, kind of case around it, but I have also seen versions with some wooden furniture, which was also pretty nice. I'll open for you it now. As you can see, it's the tails patent, and it's in really remarkable condition. The first time I saw this thing, I was absolutely stunned by it. And I just had to have it. I found this at a local market. And it was just really a remarkable piece. So how it works is, um, well, it's a pin mechanical calculator. So you have these pins that you can move. And as you can see, the, mar the uh, numbers appear on the top display. You can index this to uh, decide where you want your numbers to be, to be displayed and to um, decide the position so that you can uh, decide what you want to do with it because it can do multiple things. It can, of course, uh, add up by just spinning the wheel. It can subtract by spinning the wheel the other way. And you can multiply by indexing uh, the right position. So we'll put it at one now and clear it. So we got uh, the number now. And it now is one. So if I do it again, it's two. But if I now want to multiply this number by 22, I can index it to the left and turn twice again. So now this number is multiplied by 22 times. It is also possible to divide and to uh, work with decimal numbers, but that's pretty tricky and well, quite a hassle. Multiplying, adding up and subtracting is way easier and more practical to do. As I already showed you, you can clear both sides uh, with the left wheel and the right wheel looks really cool by the way left wheel uh, clears the kind of positions you've done and the times you want to multiply and the right side just clears everything as I already told you it's a tails patent originates from around the 1930s so before the second war it's really remarkable to me how long these machines can survive it's in such a great condition. Just thinking about that this machine is about 88 years old is truly remarkable to me. Everything works very smoothly and it has basically no damage. It's very heavy. It's about, well, 5 to 10 kilos or something. And it's pretty funny to me that they would use this back in the days, just like how we use this our small little calculators now that they would bulk around this huge heavy thing just to add up subtract multiply and divide it's pretty crazy well it's really a little piece of history and that always strikes me i'm kind of a collector in these things and oh this is just one of my best pieces of my entire collection it really just screams vintage to me looks real good you also have these little tabs that you can move to uh, well indicate where you would have a decimal or well to just kind of keep track of everything and uh, well that's basically it you can also select the um, different modes here so add up subtract and uh, yeah you can index it in two ways you can press the button or you can keep them both pressed in and then you can just freely move it around. This is also for making it fit in the suitcase. Well, that's about it. See you next time.